Today's Tips to Jour mailbag question comes to us from Michigan. Robert, is it possible to achieve a high gloss finish on an instrument without having a buffing wheel? Jimmy in Michigan. Yes, Jimmy, it is. In fact, I've got a previous video on YouTube. I show how to do it using uh, sandpapers and micro mesh and polishing compounds. Do it all by hands, a lot of elbow grease, but you can achieve that high gloss without investing in a buffing wheel. Now, recently I was in Grand Junction, Colorado, visiting Australian luthier Bo Hannum of uh, Bo Hannum Guitars and Ukuleles. And he has a very interesting technique for achieving a high gloss without using a buffing wheel. He uses a sander, random orbit sander, with an abrasive pad made by 3M, as well as some polishing compounds from 3M, and gets a great, great high gloss finish with a cordless drill and a buffing pad. It's really neat. I was there, I had my camera. Let's see how he does it. Perhaps you can get some ideas. So here I am in beautiful Grand Junction, Colorado with Australian luthier, Bo Hannum. Uh, he has moved to Grand Junction, builds his guitars and ukuleles right here in this beautiful setting in Colorado now. And Bo has a wonderful method for getting that super showroom shine on his instruments without a buffing wheel. So no need to invest, invest in the uh, buffing wheel if you don't want to. So I'll just step out of the camera. I'll let Bo show us how it's done. You okay with that, Bo? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, he'll have to charge a royalty, so you know if you get that super showroom shine, following his method, send him a royalty check. <laughs> so it all starts with the preparation. Get uh, you know grain fill. Get all the wood perfect. Spray your coats on. Uh, the the last day, I sand up to six hundred, and then I spray a couple of coats of wash coat, which is about one quarter nitro and. Uh, the rest is thinners and that just melts everything in and so after you wait about three or four weeks you've got a really flat surface and from there I block sand with 1200 grit sandpaper that's PD 1200 and from there I put on on my random orbital sander a Trizact 3000 and I just use a little spritz of water up with that then I do Trizact 5000 and then after that you're looking really good and then I use this 3M product it's called Perfected EX machine polish number two there's number one two and three and I just start with number two and they've got dedicated uh, pads and this is the pad color for number two and the pad color for number three which I sometimes use sometimes don't is the light blue one and then after that you spend spend a good time, you know, for a for this size, you just probably spend about a minute with uh, three thousand, and then about the same with five thousand, and then about the same with number two, and then come in with some microfiber towel and just wipe all that uh, residue off, and there's nothing better than wiping that off and just seeing a perfectly clear finish, and um, and that's. Uh, that's the best way I've found after 15 years of getting a really spot on finish and even looking at it like with under different types of lights and bulbs and globes, um, I can't see any scratches, hopefully. So there you have it. Bo is just giving you some uh, experience over many, many years of how to get that super showroom shine. So make sure you use the product he used, make sure you use the steps he used in the in the order that he uses, and you'll be guaranteed that nice showroom shine. So, Bo, thank you very much for your expertise and for sharing it with us. Thank you. Happy building. G'day. So, Jimmy in Michigan, thank you very much for your question. I hope this information helps you. Send me a picture of that super high-gloss finish you get on the instrument. Happy building.